Артем, uh, Артем, we are in position, awaiting orders. There was hey, something here, but I heard it, for sure. Yeah. Uh, seems like I was really seeing stuff. Well, shit. I just can't take the sitting around any longer. Uh, what the hell is this? Man, I can't see oh, shit. shit. So now I have to walk over there? Sucks to be me. Huh? Hey, who's that fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the boys are supposed to be coming soon. With booze and weed, too. Good times ahead. Hey, who the fuck is Check this place, look everywhere. You never know with these fuckers. <gasps> There's the bitch! Artyom, I see you. Come up here on the crane.
You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, they have more guards than we anticipated. It seems risky, but, but Crest, Crest says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position. Ready to take the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... This seems to be the best spot for quiet entry. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Okay, well, it's high time we started. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Crest take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. No, 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 Sam. We have to stay alert here. This place is a safe place. Huh? Sure. What? Is there someone over there? Let's see. Ah, huh? shit. We got the man! Oh, Come down there, people! Ah, shit! Shit!
Artyom, all the traitors are neutralized. Damn, we shot them! Bam! And they're down! They didn't even know what hit them! Yeah, Duke, you and our team did so well. Yeah, it would have been nice to take them alive. Well, it's okay. The barges are clear. Time to capture the tugboat bridge. Shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! <laughs> Great job, Atua! A shame we couldn't do it quietly. So? You guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not, we have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And our team, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, way anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, you're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, Blade. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. You are sure? Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Jackass, Blade. So, I do shall we move? Whoever gets there first we wins! Break a leg! Sent to fight demons for that. Uh, but it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Uh, all right. Uh, a heretic actually arrived right at the ceremony. Our guys rushed over to save the Holy Father, and the heretic killed most of them. They say he wouldn't touch you if you surrendered, though. He also didn't harm the unarmed folk that just happened to be there. He hasn't lost the last of his humanity. That we get it. And your wish falls each day. There's a rumor that people saw her with the heretics. So you think they might attack? Ah, who knows? They are heretics. May the Zarfish devour them. Yeah, they only have murdered the Zarfish. Simon never came back. Simon too. Holy people like him never come back, brother. And heathens are worse than demons. That's what scares me. I only need to get one demon, but the heathens... 
It's all in God's hands. <laughs> His will be done. Don't you worry so much. Well, I just can't... The four eyes didn't come back. God save his soul. And he didn't even go out to fight him, team. Well, you know what? Now you don't even know what's worse. It's been a month since anybody returned from a trip to the House of the Fish. As if people return from demon-killing trips a lot. Well, how about I come with you? We'll do it together for sure. They go <laughs> Receive the blessing of Antioch! I see the brother and give the kill fire! I give up! I have no choice but to rely on your mercy, even though you are a heretic. Praise be to the Tsarfish, the deliverer of the souls of the faithful to the heavenly gates.
true. We've been easy on you people the whole time. And Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers. Hold your fire. You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots. Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop. Or it might collapse. You will have Aurora, to do here. We've reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move slowly. And don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs>Artyom, Artyom, wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years. And they haven't. So what? These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They are just like us in Metro. Only even more dejected. This is great. They are, essentially, slaves. For real. They work all day and pray all night. Always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. Everything is decided by the community. Well, I mean, Silantius. They don't even have any property. Even their socks belong to the community. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climb those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know. There's something great in simply going anywhere like this, together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. 
Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. Alright, run along. Dad wanted something. Living in a fairy tale. A prince has rescued his princess from a monster infested dungeon and is taking her to his magic kingdom where they are going to live happily ever after. Do you think we're going to find that kingdom in the end? Though, if it's with you, I'll be fine anywhere. <coughs> live happily ever after is the most important part as far as I'm concerned. Leaving already? Well, go get them, tiger. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Uncle Tokarev has already set his shop up! Wanna go look? It's so cool! Here, Uncle Artyom! Ah, hi, Artyom! See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Now, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder it'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? Oh, a smoke break! That's good. The Duke's plate carrier won't want the back plate anymore. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Ah, stop it already. <laughs> hey, Artyom, well, the colonel's waiting expect? for you on the bridge. <laughs> so, what's up with your plate cap? Talking about man. Come here, Artyom. Listen. I had a talk with the Ark! And all thanks to Tokarev, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in! Come in, Ark! Over! Hey, this is Ark? Hey, uh, identify yourself! Uh, uh, over! This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over! Yes! Yes! Hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. At a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that a checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. 
this now, you doubting Thomas? I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking. Oh, the minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we're heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Chris tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. So we can hope for a smooth sailing from here and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You are saying it's all about the results. We are approaching the Yamantau Bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. What's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abandoned, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years! My whole life! And it was not spent in vain! Now I know it for a fact! Mama, look! Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh! Don't say that. Over, Colonel. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on! Passengers, get inside and button up tight! Yes, of course. Come on, Master. 
Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Orthium and me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A <laughs> wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We know that, right now! Stefan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes sir! Great, let's go! Damn, they've been pounding this place. Where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. This is a bad place. Now we shouldn't have come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Wait. Look! Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an all-nighter. 
<laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Here goes nothing! Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. <laughs> Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Let me... let me go! Not one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though. Since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! Get you ready! Burn this thing! To ashes! So that not even their dirty holes remain! Now we'll be full again! Good.
Artyom! Remains! Here. Colonel, sir. I think that's Thank enough. Thank you, Sam. But it is not. We have to get them. But first, we must find Anna! I'm sorry. I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot! Start the main elevator up! Ready! Elevator on the Sam, move! Sam! We need them cover! Yes, sir! Well done! We can hold up for that long. <laughs> I got a treat for you here, you damn freaks. Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay.
Why did you shoot them? What the fuck? But there was meat. Meat, you see? Who? <laughs>
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just... Freeze! Yes, yes! Th Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now! Uh, remember what I told you. There was an ex... Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Anna, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. This whole situation, though, I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that's Celentius with his damn fanatics. But no, it appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. These monsters have it made you, like the Watchers in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these... All right, but what do we do I'll now? damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs... All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <coughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't now? know, Anna. We have to make the decision oh, together. I to you, but it's getting quite hot in here. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on. Okay, all done.
Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. Oh, to think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites! What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Sound the horn, then! <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. Somehow, I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. 